In the last session, we have had a look at the structure of literature review. Now we can structure our literature review in two different ways. This is structure one, this is structure two, and you can follow any one of them. The link to the last session is shared in the description. In this particular session, we are going to focus on how to write when developing a framework to establish a relationship. Not only that, we are going to focus on how to use Google Scholar to search for relevant literature. Now, these are a few critical ingredients that I find are really important when you are developing a framework to establish relationships. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. You can have other elements or ingredients as well. Now, the first thing, have the previous studies linked the two concepts? If yes, what were their findings? Now, if the previous studies have linked the two concepts, for example, in our case, let's say if they have linked servant leadership and environmental behavior, can you share their findings? If not, then obviously there is a strong gap and this needs to be filled. But even in that case, you will have to find out how and why these two concepts are interrelated with each other. Failure to do so, you will obviously do not have a substantial argument to go towards a particular hypothesis. Lack of empirical findings or lack of research with respect to relationship between two variables does not mean that you do not have to include any research or any argument to link the variables, you will still have to link the variables. How you are going to talk about this. Now, were the findings of the previous studies unanimous? Now, if the previous research studies have linked the two concepts, were the findings unanimous? Like, for example, you found three studies on the relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior. And all three studies found a positive relationship between servant leadership and environmental behavior. So the findings are unanimous. But you may find studies where, for example, one study found a positive relationship, the other found a positive as well, while the third one did not find any relationship between the two concepts. Now these are contradictory findings. Now if you've got contradictory findings, this means that there is need for new research to conclude the relationship between these two concepts. Now, apart from just linking the two variables based on existing research, you need to find out why studying the linkage between these variables is important. Now, this could be in general and with respect to your area of study, if you are studying in a, spe in a specific area. Now, we have already talked about that what if there is no research, no existing study linking the two concepts, but still you need to link the concepts to establish an argument that yes, these variables can be linked with each other. To do so, you have to link the dimensions and traits of one variable with the other variable. Now, we are going to have a detailed session on how to write literature review when you do not have any existing literature review. A detailed session on the same is also available on the channel. So I'm going to share the link as well. So what you do is you link the dimensions. Let's say we've got servant leadership here. So we've got servant leadership. Now servant leadership is all about relationship building, growth and development of employees. It's about being humble. It's about being ethical. And there are other dimensions as well. Now you have to look into how you have operationalized servant leadership. You just can't go on and include all the dimensions. And then what you do is you try to link these sub dimensions with the environmental behavior or other variables if you cannot find any existing research. Now this is how you are building an argument that yes, there is a relationship between servant leadership and these variables. Finally, once you are done with all these other elements, the final thing that you have to do is you have to use theory to develop linkages. Now we are going to have a separate session on just this particular element, how to use a particular theory to develop linkages. Or we are going to also discuss what is a theory, why it is important and how to search for a particular theory. Now that you know that these are the critical 
ingredients when you are developing a framework to establish relationships. How do you search the literature to formulate these hypotheses? How do you search literature to develop the relationships? So we are going to use these search strings in Google Scholar. You can use Mendeley or QDA Minor Lite as well. And there are detailed sessions on the channel. Now let's use these search strings. Now, for example, let's say, have a look here. Has the previous studies linked the two concepts? Now, in this case, let's take, for example, the two concepts are summit leadership and environmental behavior. So how do we search that if the existing research has linked these two concepts? So what you need to do is we are going to use all in title here. Look at this all in title. So this servant leadership, this environmental behavior or environmental behavior. Now there could be one with a U and one could be without a U. So these terms must exist in the title of the paper. So this is an R and look at the parenthesis here. So what we have done is either one of them and there is nothing in here. So this means and you do not need to write an and. So let's copy this and see if we get something. Control C and in Google Scholar, paste it, press enter and look at this. So there is something that has linked servant leadership with environmental behavior. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Now again, what I prefer is quality journals. They are in master journal list. So you can use these studies to link these two concepts that is summit leadership and environmental behavior. We are also going to look into a proper literature review section when that will help us understand how to write it in proper descriptive form, how to write in proper text form in or in a paragraph form. Now again, let's say if there are any contradictions with regards to servant leadership and environmental behavior. Now, what is this? The second element. Were the findings of the previous studies unanimous or were there any contradictions? So if you are searching for contradictions, this is the string that you can use. And obviously you can change the wordings. I've used contradiction. You can use others as well. So look at this. The observed dilemmas resulted not only from the contradictory. So what is this contradiction? You can open and have a look at this paper. And again, so there are quite a few papers that have talked about contradictions and you can look into these contradictions. Are these contradictions linked with the relationship between the two concepts or not? Now, what is the third element? Why is studying this or these relationships are important? So what you can do is now I've used all in text. Now all in text means that all of this here, this word contradictory servant leadership and either of these two must appear in the text of the paper. So this is all in text, not all in title. Remember. So let me copy this string now. Why studying this particular concept is important. Copy. So I'm using the text significance or importance or value. So what you can do is paste, press enter, and this will give you the value for these concepts. Now you have to open these papers and look into it. So either one of these words and servant leadership and either of these two. And finally, do the dimensions or trace. Now, what if there is no previous study? Now, if there is no previous study, you still have to link these variables. How do you link these variables? You have to link the traits, the dimensions of a particular concept with the other variable. So what we can do is we can have something like this. Copy and paste it here. Press enter. Now look at this, look at this. This is how you can link the dimension. Now behaving ethically is a dimension of servant leadership. And does it link or has anybody linked it with environmental behavior? Now, obviously you can try removing servant leadership as well, but then you have to link behaving ethically in terms of leadership. 
so there should be something that obviously links this dimension of behaving ethically with leadership and then links it to environmental behavior so what you need to do is you can either remove the servant here as well and then search so you'll have more detailed results so this is how you can use google scholar to search for each of the element for your literature review as for this there are other sessions on the channel on how to search theory i'm going to share the link in the description as well i hope this session would have helped you understand how to write when developing framework to establish relationships and how to use google scholar to search for each of these ingredients in coming sessions we are going to talk about how to use theory to develop linkages and how to search a particular theory. Thank you very much.